Hey guys, I'm trying something new, um, a new app for me that is, and showing you guys about horseshoe dentures. So as you can see up top, I googled it, and this is what it is. So many people keep asking me what it is. It is just enough denture that covers your gums, um, your sockets, and around them. That's about it. The biggest problem with that is they have horrible suction. Horrible. It even says the case against horseshoe dentures a lack of suction. You take off the palate and you have nothing. I'm going to find some other ones for you guys. Case in point, this one is the top one. See how very little space right in the middle? It doesn't take much off. So can you imagine how much it's going to scrape your tongue and destroy things? Like that's insane. I tell people if they're going to do something like horseshoe, Sorry, guys, my movie's going on in the background. But if you can do something like horseshoe or anything like that, get implants. There are mini pl implants and regular ones. Mini ones are cheaper. They do do the job. Make sure you have four implants on top and four on the bottom for they, them to successfully work. But if you want horseshoe, I'm just giving you a heads up. You're not going to have much suction. Okay, you're not going to have any suction. You have to use adhesive for the rest of your life if you do not use implants. And like the bottoms, you know how the bottoms just like float on top of your gum? Well, the tops don't do crap. They're just a hole. That's what you're getting. It's just a small hole. And right on the out, you know, the around the edges of the hole of like the little horseshoe, um, your tongue's gonna hit it all the time. It's gonna scrape. It's gonna do all of that. Hold on one second, guys. Sorry, guys. My movie was really annoying me. Of course, at that part, it's got to start screaming. Okay. So, not only is it going to destroy your, com your like, quality of life, and let's be real, it's going to. And I'm going to show you guys way more pictures. Um, they have horseshoe for uh, partial dentures, which, by the way, they're a lot of money. This is what I was talking to you about, mini implants. Now, using... If you want a horseshoe, they highly recommend if you're going to horseshoe your denture to get implants. And you see in the four spots where they recommend you to do so. It takes a year to heal, guys. A year. So, see how it shows you if I can pop it up. This left top picture right here shows you how it even works. But your bottom is already horseshoed in real life because we have no palate on a denture. And how well does that work out for you? Not very well. And that floats on top of gums. Well, if you're putting a horseshoe denture on top of your, you know, upper mouth, they don't float. They just fall right down. So I really, truly tell people all the time, I highly do not recommend them to do this. Um, like, I'm being serious, guys. Don't do it. Um, like here, how can you get dentures out of palate? Palateless dentures are any upper denture that has no palate covering the upper plate, including dental implants, natural teeth, retained over dentures, fixed removable restore restoration, or um, conventional uh, plateless dentures with their horseshoe shape frame. Um, the type of denture that's best, traditional, conventional, full dentures, partial, custom, all that, like... Horseshoe's not even on here, which makes it hilarious. But implants and snap-on is on the bottom. And overdentures are way, way underneath that um, in categories. And it explains each one once you click on the link. But I'm not going to go into too much detail. I just wanted to show you guys pictures because a lot of people keep asking me about horseshoe and wanted me to do a quick explanation. Here, case in point, this is what you're going to be missing. First of all, this is somebody destroying their entire upper denture. Like, they destroyed it. They tried doing it themselves at home, or they went to a dentist's office, whatever, and as you can see, it's freaking destroyed. Like, look, I just blew that up for you. Some people I've seen and heard them talk about on support groups how, you know, they do it um, on their own with a Dremel, and they either destroyed it or it wasn't that bad, but they told me they needed so much adhesive, and they need to reapply it all the time. And you know, this isn't the case for everybody, but a huge chunk of majority regret horseshoeing their denture um, without, you know, implants. 
please, please, guys, if you're going to do it, get implants. Please. Please, 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 please. Oh, those are my pictures. Maybe I'll show you guys some. Ooh, guys, I want to show you this. This is my cushion grip one. If you guys saw that video, if you haven't, go check it out. Um, it's in my reviews playlist. But look at that. It looks like dried up, disgusting, moldy coral. That was me soaking it overnight because I went to bed. And that's what it looked like when it dries. Like, that's gross. So when I first used Polygrip, um, I took forever, guys. God, I hated it. Um, but the eventually, as I worked it through, it was better. But now... No, absolutely not. I do not recommend Polygrip. I think it's a waste of money and a waste of product. But I'm going to go, guys, just testing out my new app. Love you guys. God bless. Stay safe. Later.